Yeah, uh, in 2010, I found the black-legged tick in Coshocton County. And um, since then, we found it in Ashtabula County. And then after deer gun season last year, we found it in additional counties. So we're up to 26 counties where we think the tick may be established. And uh, we're not really sure if it's a real phenomenon of, you know, an explosion of these ticks in these areas or they've been here for a long time. That's something we're trying to sort out. Really, there are two ticks in Ohio we have to be concerned about. One's the American dog tick that most everybody in Ohio is familiar with. Uh, but the new bad actor in, in the state is the, the black-legged tick or deer tick. Uh, but the stage that's active right now is about the size of a poppy seed. And what we're seeing is that people in Ohio are not calibrated to look for something that small. They're used to looking for larger ticks. So we're trying to get the word out that the tick may be present in their area. And if they do find these really small ticks that they uh, send them in to the county health department or county extension so they can be identified. Concerning the infection rate in Ohio, we don't really know. We haven't sampled enough ticks to know what the infection rate is. Uh, it's probably quite low at this time. Uh, and in terms of numbers of cases, uh, it's been between about 40 to 60 cases per year going clear back to the 1980s. And last year, we had 53 cases. So it looks like the number of human Lyme cases in Ohio is still relatively low.